Hey guys, so this is gonna be a short video comparing the performance of the C mode to the FCC mode using my DJI Air 2S. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, the FCC mode is the mode in uh, which DJI drones fly in uh, America and Canada. And it's basically uh, full transmission power. And the C mode is what we get in places like Europe and most other countries, which is basically a turned down version of the FCC mode because of different rules and regulations. Uh, the transmission power needs to be turned down in the CE countries, which means not only much less uh, maximum range out of the drone, but also much more important in my opinion, much less signal stability. So I'm gonna start the normal DJI fly up now, and we're gonna see how the CE mode gets along. I'm in the air now, I'm gonna get it to about 40 meters or so. And uh, now I'm gonna check the transmission tab. Uh, as you can see here, uh, first, of, first off, uh, we only get auto, channel mode, so there's no manual option. And also, if you look at the one kilometer line, you're gonna see it's below uh, 90 on the left scale. So this is C mode. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now, basically, I'm not very interested in the first part of this test as uh, the drone is gonna be within line of sight. There's, mm, there aren't gonna be any obstacles between the drone and the remote. So I'm not really worried about the first part. What I am interested in is what's gonna happen when uh, the drone goes behind the trees, which is gonna be any minute now. So yeah, now I can't see the drone anymore. It's gonna be on the, the trees at about 300 meters. So I'm already getting some jerkiness and weak signal alert. Wow, that was soon. Okay, so at 540 meters, I got a full disconnect. This was just 200 meters or so after going behind the trees. So I was expecting trees to make a, to make a really big difference to the signal, but I wasn't honestly expecting it to be that, that soon. But anyway, okay, so I'm coming back now. I'm gonna double check exactly how far it is until line of sight. So yeah, right about here, I can see myself. So about at about 300 meters is where line of sight gets lost. So yeah, this was for CE mode. Now, before testing the FCC mode, I'm gonna show you what I'm using to switch the L2S into FCC mode. So it's a website called Drone Twix. And as you can see, you can select your drone up here. If I click on the little arrow, I can see it supports uh, several drones. So I think basically all the DJI consumer drones, no inspires or anything like that. And here, uh, there are the different mods. So it has a mod for DJI Fly. It has a mod for DJI Go 4 and a specific mod for the Air 2, which enables not only FCC mode, but also turns on uh, AirSense, that is a uh, manned aircraft detection. And I can also he see here, we have uh, several combos available. So combining uh, multiple mods into more, uh, uh, cheap packages. And if I go on the R2S now, uh, I'm gonna get uh, the mod that is recommended for this, which is obviously the DJI Fly FCC mod. And also to the right here, uh, we can see what improvements this will bring. Uh, the 5.8 gigahertz band seems to be severely limited in a C mode, more so than uh, 2.4. So this uh, is a, gonna have a bigger impact in urban environments. 
And if I click on this uh, mod, uh, I can get more details on it. I'm not gonna go through everything. You can check that out uh, for yourself. But uh, yeah, this is uh, where I bought the, the app from. And basically what it is, is uh, an identical version to the Fly app. It just uh, keeps the drone in FCC mode, but is identical in uh, all other ways. Now, there are several options available on the market for uh, such mods for iOS. But the one thing that I really like about this one is that it does not require jailbreaking and it does not require you to sign your own app. So you don't need to uh, get a developer account. You don't need to do that uh, re-signing every seven days or buying a developer certificate or none of that crap. You just get, uh, get a link, you tap the link, the app is installed and that's it, you're done. It's very easy. Okay, I'm now gonna launch the FCC app. Uh, when it launches, we get this warning, which says FCC mode enabled. Uh, I'm gonna take it up to about the same uh, altitude, fly along the same uh, route, and let's see what happens. I'll quickly check the transmission tab here to make sure the one kilometer line is now above 90, which it is. And we also have channel mode auto and manual. At about 300 meters, just like before, the drone is gonna go behind the trees. So that is the part that I'm interested in. So right about now, I lost sight of the drone. With C mode, we got uh, to just over 200 meters after that point. So let's see how FCC mode is doing. Okay, I'm now passing the point where C mode uh, totally disconnected earlier. And I'm gonna try and uh, see how far I can get it. Oh, wow. So it's already at double the range behind the trees of the C mode. There are some slight glitches, but I still have uh, full control. Now it's glitching quite badly, but I can still fly it. Let's see if we can push it a little bit further. And yeah, I think that's about it. So we are at just and under a kilometer, which means 700 meters behind the trees compared to the C mode with, with just uh, over 200 meters. So quite a significant uh, difference. Coming back now at 800 meters away, 300 meters more than the C mode uh, managed and I'm uh, coming back with no issues. The signal is perfect here. So yeah, honestly, uh, C mode was a bit disappointing to be fair. Uh, even going behind the trees, I was expecting it to go a bit further, but I guess there are tons of trees here with uh, leaves, which have a uh, high water content, which is what's uh, blocking the signal. But it's good to see uh, that the FCC mode basically, I think, tripled the range that the drone was uh, able to go behind the trees. So yeah, that's about it for this test. See you guys.